Well, what is going on? Welcome to my chaotic mess. I'm your host, Conquest Josh, and I could not find a flippin' cape-stretching wireframe anywhere. So what did I do? I said, the heck with it. I'm going to redneck one together, which really isn't that much of a redneck situation because obviously it's already in the right shape. I decided to do a video after already starting this. So congratulations to me. Um... I threw some salt on the hide, and this is basically the only where, the only place I can hang it right now until I get this built, and then I can just throw it on here and hang it up wherever. But that just won't do. It needs to be stretched width-wise, not length-wise. And this portion right here is the neck, and the face is down there, and it's slowly pulling this way, which is no good. I need to build this, which I've already started. So what I did is, whoops, sorry. What I did is I got two of these pieces of plain steel round bar, 5 16 by 72 inches or 6 feet. And... I measured to 36 inches, which is right in the middle. I put a bend. I bent it into the nose shape. That's going to be up into the nose of the deer. Hide. And all I did was put it on my railing, and I just bent it a little bit. And then I just used my hands to bend it the rest of the way because this long stuff is pretty easy to bend in the shape that I want it. Anywho, I'm wearing welding gloves right now because I'm about to tack this together. Um, I bought two of these at six feet. Having the bend there and the bend here is about 17 inches from the end. Give or take, it's about 17 inches. So after that, it's probably bent up too high, but we'll we'll just see. I cut the next piece into two inch or two inch, two feet segments. So I have three pieces. There's one down there, there's one right here, and there's one in my hand. I'm going to add the total length from the nose of this to here is just under three feet. So if I weld two more feet on do that, that'll just give me about five feet, which will be way too big for this. But because everywhere that I asked, even locally at the stinking F&T fur trading thing, they had no idea if where or anything that I could get anything like this. And it's like, seriously, nobody builds these? So, and if people do, then I'm kind of disappointed with our local shop because they were so quick to get off the phone with me. I know they're busy, but a customer called you, offered local business to you. And, yep, we don't have one. Do you know where I could get one? Nope. Click. Okay, fine. Guess what? I used to work for their manufacturing shop. So I know how this shiznit is built. I'm just going to build my freaking own, which I should have done in the first place. So anyways, I've got this stuff set up. Hold on, I'll show you in just a second. There. So basically that's kind of what it's going to look like. I'm going to weld right there. And then I'm going to put a bottom piece 
across the bottom. And then if it needs to be any wider after it's all welded up, you can just pull on both sides and it'll bend. But 5 sixteenths I figured would be big enough to hold its shape, but thick enough to where if I do stretch it out, it's not just going to go uh, and go right back in, right? You like that? <sighs> Anyways. I'm going to keep this short because my phone is about to die, and I found my tripod. It was underneath of the wife wanting to get rid of the, our couch into the... Yeah. I found it. It's safe. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. I found my tripod. But I don't know where the tip top is. I think it's still in the tree. Good place for it, right? I know. Come this summer, I'll do a video on how to clean out your garage and get rid of all of this crap that's in here. But for now, let's find a good place to set you up so that you can see this being done. And I see you over there, gorgeous. Safety first, kids. Don't go blind. Welding is so hard on your eyes. Trust me, I welded for freaking forever, and I'm blind as a bat. So, these are cheap. Got my nickname. Buddhist. Got my nickname on it. These are super cheap. This is auto darkening and everything. It's got all the knobs, and it's probably dead already. I don't know. You can adjust the this, that, and the other thing on it, but. Even though I just preached about how it hurts your eyes, I'm going to turn it way down so I can freaking see because I'm blind. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get you set up so I can weld. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Conquest Josh, and we're about to make our own homemade wire frame for stretching out my fur. Can I put you right there? Are you good right there? Are you guys comfortable? Are you sure? Are you, are you, you right there? Are you okay? Are you comfortable? All right, let's get welding on this stupid thing. Since nobody else had what I was looking for, can I do it right here or is it just gonna fall off the table? Yeah, that seems fine. Not really, but oh, get the flipping. Listen, Charlotte's Web, you don't need to be in my welding helmet, okay? There's a hundred thousand other. <coughs> oh, that's gross. The hundred other thousand places in this whole garage that's full of crap that you can just go to, lay all your. Lay your babies and just not in my flipping welding mask, please. Who wore this last? And why is your head so small? Luke, I am your stepfather. Just joking. Okay, what's my wire speed? Why is my wire speed all the way down? Why are you not turning on? Because the button broke. Probably a good idea to have my wire speed down just a little bit. Sweet! So this is probably not going to get welded very straight, but it doesn't need to be straight. It just needs to be welded. Remember that one time that I can't see?
Six. Yep, I'll never find that. Just kidding, I got it. Is that even a good tack? Probably. Right, now let's flip this around. I need to figure out where my adjustment is on. Where are you? What's minimum and what's maximum? Because I couldn't see jack. Yeah, don't want it on the grinding section. I don't feel like giving myself flash burn in my eyeballs. Let's try this. There, there you have it. A flipping wire stretcher that's going to be big enough to do a deer in like just a few minutes because it didn't take me long to do those bends by hand. It didn't take me long to get my grindy wheel of death and cut those sections out. And it obviously didn't take me very long to put those other pieces on with the welder either. So this is going to be big enough for my cape because my cape is big. Just trying to think of, that should be good. Just check my welds, make sure that the crappy welder did what it was supposed to do. Yep, I need one. 
this side's good. Okay, I need to weld the underside on this side and the underside on that side. So, here we go, back at her. Come on, come here. Come here, you. good I think we're good I think we're solid I think we're I think we're okay I think two feet worth of gap at the bottom is gonna be too much but we'll just weld it where it sits and we'll just be good with it on fire. There, if we need it any bigger, we can just stretch it.
Okay. There we go. If you're wondering, I'm just using a really crappy old Chicago electric 90 amp fire welder. Does the trick most of the time, but it's a pile of junk. But it's my pile of junk. So. And there you have it, ladies and gents. A homemade cape frame. Just welded the bottom, welded those two things on, put the bends in myself. Now I'm going to go see if it works on that. And if it does, then I'll bring you back in here in just a second. I let this cool for a moment. Uno momento. And it's snowing. Un resto momentum. Just drag it around in the snow. It'll cool that metal off real nice and fast. Resto momentum. There we are. It's all frosty now. Should be that should be okay to the touch. Oh yeah, it's cold now. Oh yeah, that's cold. Sweet. Now what I should do is I should get the spinning wheel of death and smooth this out. I'm gonna smooth this portion out because it's all sticky. Like. Not like tacky sticky, but like uh, uh, pokey. It's pokey. Do a hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Put one tool in, put one tool out, put one tool in, and you spin it all around. You take off the cutting wheel and put the sanding wheel on. That's what it's all about. Make sure it's tight as crap and that you don't crack your finger because if you do, then it's going to really freaking hurt. I need a screwdriver so I can take this off. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Is that a screwdriver? Holy crap. Look at that. There, now my guard's not all over the place. All right. Spinning wheel of death. Just an FYI, when you're working with power tools that spin, don't wear a hoodie with frickin' Strings hanging down, they get caught up in there, they'll rip your face off.
I took my gloves off. Sick! Now it's all nice and smooth. I'll bring you guys off. Now it's all nice and smooth. Right here where I welded, it's all nice and smooth. It's not going to catch on. It's not going to catch on my cape. And then down here it's just smoothed out so that I'm not cutting my fingers when I'm holding on to this thing. All right. I'm going to get this uh, in the house because it is freezing outside and I don't think this cape is going to do very good frozen in this process. I put salt on it yesterday and it leaked for a minute and that was it. Now I think it's just too cold for that process. So I'm gonna bring it down into the basement, hang it up on my new stretcher because everybody else couldn't tell me where. Well, the Cedar Ridge, Cedar, Cedar, crap. For as much as I watch them, I should remember. Cedar something Chronicles, Cedar Ridge Chronicles, I think, said he got from McKenzie's, and I could not find one at McKenzie's. I could find the directions and stuff, but I could not find one. So guess what? I just made one. I was tired of wasting my time trying to Google search and then them just going, well, we got one for, for Bobcat and we got one for uh, Mink and other stuff. I was like, I need one for a deer. I need one for a deer. So I just, uh, I made one for a deer or a human. Um, I don't think it would, I don't think it would work very well for me because I'm just a little bit too fat for it. But anyways, I'm just joking. Deer hide, wherever I'm pointing. Deer hide. I'm going to hang it up real quick. All right, I'll be right back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. It's all hung up. The frame is on the inside. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Look at that top. <clears throat> so that when it drips, it'll drip into that. Not all over the floor. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, thanks for tuning in and on this update. And we'll see you soon.